and welcome Destiny Christian Church to Destiny Devo today. And we're going to be talking about uh, what you glory in, the idea of glory. Glory isn't just something that God has, but glory is something that we have in a sense or that we glory in. And this is important because uh, especially the past year with all we've been through in our country and in the world with, with the crises and all these things and things that happen with it, um, we have... Uh, I, I feel like some 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 Christians got off base with uh, with what they gloried in, but to begin this talk, I just want to kind of um, talk about um, something that that uh, Church Father Origen once said. He said, "Certainly, people place their glory in various places: some in their country, some in their family line, some on beauty, some on strength of their bodies, and in the skill of competing." And so what do you glory in? What is your greatest glory? And first of all, glory is defined this way. It's praise, honor, or distinction extended by common consent. And the glory test is simply this. And this is why, why the subtitle was Glory is a Test. And the, the test is, is this. If you lose that thing you glory in, are you lost? And unfortunately, I, I saw too, way too many followers of Christ totally upset when their candidate lost the election because they had all of these, you know, prophetic words they believe and all these things that they, oh, you know, you know, it's going to be two terms and all this. And, and who knows? Who knows what happened? But here's the point that you lose. Was that your glory that you lost it? Was it something so important to you that your life was torn apart once, once you didn't get it? And I like what Theodore of Sire once said, I have, con I have confidence neither in uh, kingship, meaning, you know, presidents uh, or kings, nor in sovereignty. Instead, I trust in you to be my glory, meaning God, and I expect to be quickly raised up by your right hand. In other words, God is the one who makes it right. God is the one who brings justice. God is the one who brings alignment, not the president or the king or any sovereign leader. And that's the beauty of it, that my glory is in God. That's the key. And Psalms 3.3 3 says, But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory and the lifter of my head. And this is beautiful. And there's another scripture in Jeremiah I, I, I should have thrown in there today, which I don't have handy, but uh, it talks about, Let not the wise man boast in his knowledge, nor the strong in his strength. Uh, and there's one more part to it, but it says, Let him who boasts boast in this that he understands and knows me. That's where our glory should be, that if we lose our relationship with God, if we lose our closeness to Him, if we lose our hunger for God, that should create the most incredible crisis in our life, more than anything in the world, because without Him we have nothing anyway. So, what do you glory in today? Where is your, where is your allegiance do you glory in sports, maybe more than God? Do you glory in, in you know, fashion or shopping or, you know, some kind of games or you know, hobbies more than God? That if if it was taken away from you, you would truly be lost. So I want to leave that with you. Just tuck it in the back of your head and 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 leave it with you. And uh, as as we uh, do more of these, make sure you connect with it and leave a comment. And uh, these are very short; they're usually five minutes or less. And so, until next time, so good to be with you, Destiny Christian Church. Make sure you check the website, destinychristiannagra.com. Check out YouTube channel, our Destiny Christian Church YouTube channel, and our Facebook. And uh, connect with us and stay in touch and share with friends so that we can grow our channels, okay? So, until next time, God bless.